Hi guys, it's Katie Alba Astro. Right, so yesterday Pix and Sight gave us a new update install. And that install now gives us this gradient correction process tool. And I wanted to try it out to see what all the hype is about. Now, this image is the lobster claw and bubble. And I've chose that image specifically to show you. It's because there's a lot of gradient in the background on this image. Okay, lots of gradients. And I want to see if this is going to do the job it says it will. And what I will do is I'll combine the channels and then when I go to use this correction, this gradient correction tool, I'll also do um, an auto background extract just to show the difference between the two. Excuse me, letting the dog out. And um, we'll make a decision as to whether it's as good as everybody's raving about on the Picks and Sight uh, forums um, on social media. So let's get started. So first I'm going to go up to Process, Channel Management, and I'm going to combine the channels. And as you know, folks, you can go in here and do it um, manually, you know, S2, or you can drag and drop. There we go. This is obviously for those with uh, mono images. Once I apply this globally, then for those with one shot colour, you, you can follow along exactly as you see. So I'm going to get rid of that. We'll do a screen transfer. I've already got this unticked. <clears throat> so here's our actual image once it's been combined. Um, the bubble and the lobster claw. Okay. Now I am going to turn this image counterclockwise 90 degrees because then I feel as if you're getting to see it better. Bubble up here, lobster claw over here. Now, as you can see, all this gradient all around here. So let's do a clone so that we can compare both images. Okay. And we'll move you here. And we'll move you here. Right. And here we, oops, here we go. So. What we will do is we will use our clone and we will do our normal auto background extraction. Okay. And we will subtract and replace our target image. And let's see what that brings. Now, as you know, this is the one we always normally use, or I normally always use. Let's stretch that. So there's all the gradient that it's taking out in the back there. And let's stretch this image. Okay, so that's looking actually not bad. As you can see, everything seems okay. But now, let us give the gradient correction a try. Okay, we'll let that run. I'm not going to change any of the defaults. So the thing is, normally when you get a, um, a new Pix and Sight update, you know, to install, you would have to delete the old Pix and Sight. You don't have to with this one. You just download the new version and it overrides the old version. And the only thing that was missing 
from my process icons it was my Starnet plus plus um, that was the only thing I had to put back in again and you know go into the modules and find it and tell the machine it's there and then put it back in and that was fine so now we have our image with the gradient correction tool adjustment and I must say I'm actually pretty impressed because if you look at the auto background extraction image go down here look we've got all this still in here and we've got this here and up here and down in this image none of that is present so it's actually removed more of the gradient which is fantastic wow I'm impressed guys I truly am um, I would suggest and advise that you download the new installation um, a lot of the bug fixes are fixed now and all your icons and scripts that you have just now should automatically come in with them which is fabulous so there we go I'm happy with that now what I'll do is I'll start actually processing this but I'll actually make that a different video I don't want to you know like go in and um, do one big long video people just get bored with that so just letting the dog back in so I'll stop here and I'll do a follow-up video of the processing of this image okay thanks for watching guys